Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting, action-packed episode of Box Breaks with Bruce. Today we're trying something different, a product I've personally never opened before, 1997 Bowman CHL Hockey. So this is a pretty interesting product, featuring a lot of pre-rookies and uh, pre-NHL debut cards of a lot of players that are, or were rather, quite uh, regular mainstays in the NHL, including guys like Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe, Roberto Luongo, and this is a set that predates Bowman's Best and those products that in introduced the uh, refractors and atomic refractors. Also in here, there's potential to get autographs of some of the top draft picks of that, that era. Obviously one of the best being Luongo, but of course you can get Thornton as well. Now the initial investment on this product was $35 Canadian, which is very, very little. And uh, hopefully we can do well with it and have a little bit of fun and enjoy some hockey history at the same time. Urbe Bobblehead is ready to judge the uh, major hits. And I'll be here having fun opening some packs. All for you guys. Let's get down to breaking. Okay, so the packs look pretty plain. Um, no special design, just purple and CHL on it. Hopefully we don't have the issue with stickiness. That was a huge problem there yesterday with the uh, packs. So yeah, there's uh, eight cards. Apparently an autograph is one in 42 packs, so one in every other box. Eight cards per pack. Well, let's get down to business. Interesting looking base cards. Todd Robinson. What's on the back there? Oh, wow. They put in a lot of effort. Pretty cool. They got... Uh, Information, stats, picture, went all out. Uh, Martin Moyes. Of course, some of these guys made the NHL, some did not. So a lot of unfamiliar names in here as well. Uh, Francois Metho. Brian Vessenberg. I think this is an Opeachy insert, because that's one of the possible inserts you can get. There's an Opeachy parallel. Uh, this one is of Gregor Baumgartner. Dave Dwerden. Jeremy Reich, Jarrett Smith, and Brian Elder. Not too many of those guys in this pack had long and illustrious NHL careers. But, it's the nature of the beast. You play, you play, you play. It doesn't mean you make the NHL, unfortunately. Brad Isbister, he definitely made the NHL. I believe he was a Islanders draft pick. Daniel Corso, he was in the NHL. Peter Worrell, he was an enforcer there for uh, Florida mainly. Jumbo Joe Thornton, if you don't know Jumbo Joe Thornton, probably hockey's not your sport. Danny Cleary, I believe from Newfoundland there. Quite popular player, the Oilers and um, Detroit Red Wings for a while. Ty Jones, he made it, not a long career. Danny Cleary. And Ryan Hoople, he definitely did not make it to the NHL. But again, among goalies, it is much harder to make the NHL. There's so many fewer positions available for them to, uh, to play. Okay, on to our next pack. These are interesting cards. Tyler Willis, Radislav Suci, he made the NHL. Martin Ethiar. Not a familiar name to me. Todd Norman. Sounds familiar, but I couldn't pinpoint it. Zach Burke. He made the NHL. He played with... Uh, uh, who did he play with? Tampa Bay, Arizona, and I want to say Minnesota, but I might be wrong on that. And he's also related to, um, to a, a musician. Again, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of the musician, but uh, quite, a, quite a famous one, at least among the heavy metal circles there. Roberto Luongo. You know him, I know him. Um, Tyler Renette and Josh Holden. Played with Vancouver and uh, I want to say Carolina briefly. Joey Tetarenko. He made it. Jason Grolo. Jean Francois Fortin. Marty Wilford. Oh, this pack is going to be depressing here. Wes Jarvis, P. 
Pierre-Luc Terrier, Terrien, I don't know, never heard of him. Shane Willis, he made it. And, well, we are depressed right here. Um, autograph, redemption card! Wow, nothing like an expired redemption from 23 years ago. Well, actually, it doesn't say there's an expiry date on it, so maybe we can, uh... Oh, actually, no, it does. February 16th, 1998 is the deadline to get it in. Interesting. I'm curious whose autograph this redemption is. Oh, we'll have to look that up, whose was a redemption. Well, that sucks. Well, we would have gotten an autograph, but we don't. As the British would say, bollocks. That was absolute bollocks. Oh, well. Uh, it's a risk of the old products, unfortunately. Donny Kinney, Alexander Jacques, Jonathan Delisle, John Sim, he made the NHL, Jan Bullish, same story, Patrick Marlowe, Carol Bartanus, and Travis Brigley. Short career he had, but he made it. Well, that sucks. We got an autograph card, yet we didn't at the same time. Damn redemptions, I didn't think they went that far back in time. I hate them now, I hate them equally back in the day. Redemptions are absolute cancer. Brad Ferns, Christian Digg, I wonder if he's related to the uh, draft bust there. Martin Menard, Patrick Desrochers, made the NHL, played with Phoenix and Carolina. Joel Troche, Scott Barney, a lot of these guys actually made it, not long careers, but they were there. Jason Ward, and Derek Morris. Hope the redemption wasn't for one of those uh, Luongo atomic refractors, because that, be, that would be depressing. Randy Perry, Jerome Tremblay, Pavel Ross, Richard Jackman, Tyler Renett, Harold Druken, he made the NHL, I believe, with Vancouver there, Joe Thornton, and Chris Phillips, Ottawa Senators. <clears throat> it's a nice little product. Definitely gives you a different, uh, different look at hockey rather than just you know your top NHL pros top NHL cards rather. Randy Petruk never made the NHL, but he was a dressed backup with Carolina back in the early 2000s. Derek Walzer, Columbus, Robert Esch. Philadelphia and Phoenix had an okay career, kind of disappeared into obscurity. Boyd Devereaux, Sean Blanchard, Eric Brewer, Ryan Bonney, and Peter Schaefer. Again, a lot of guys in here that made the NHL, some longer than others. But it's interesting to, to see those and see and hear those names again. Brian Boucher. He's a, he's a name. He, he made his way around the NHL. Philadelphia, Calgary, Phoenix, Carolina, San Jose. He's the goalie who let in the, uh, the famous um, Alexander Ovechkin goal from his rookie season. Eric Drouin, Danny Briere, had a long career. Alexander Volchkov, draft bust. Daniel Kachuk, another draft bust of, Car of Calgary. Daniel Tetro, Stefan Cherneski. And did not realize this about the product. Uh, another redemption card for a Bowman's Best Refractor. So apparently they didn't insert them into the packs themselves. They gave it as a redemption. So we have two redemptions now for what would be considered hits. And all we have are base cards and one OPG parallel. So that's uh, something that would have been good to know beforehand. Again, yeah, that is a bizarre redemption though. It's a shiny parallel they could have easily put into the packs. Again, I don't know the circumstances behind it. I'm not gonna speculate. I just think that's kind of poor business practice for just a regular parallel. Olivier Morin, JP Dumont, he had a decent career. Chris Height, Alan McCauley, Adam Colagiacomo. We'll just assume is Italian. If he's not, he is now. <laughs> Matt Ellich and Chris Phillips again. Two redemptions. Jesus. It's nuts. Why, why redemptions? Todd Robinson, Martin Moise, Steve Bejan, 
Braden Wessenberg, Dave Dwerden, Jeremy Reich, Jarrett Smith, and Mike McBain. This is McBain. If you remember The Simpsons. If you don't remember The Simpsons, you just think I'm insane right now. I'll accept both. <laughs> Greg Lieb, Eric Belanger, yeah, he had a decent career. Carol Bartanus, Andy Delmore, Cameron Mann, Adam Mayer, Alexander Matteo, and Jesse Wallin. So again, a lot of these guys made the NHL. Not overly long careers for a lot of them, but this is quite a decent, uh, decent prospect class that was coming out of the CHL at that time. Still, quite disappointed in redemptions, even for like a regular insert. Uh, Derek Walzer, Robert Esch again, Matt Cook, quite a hated player he became. Got Alan McCauley, Opeachy parallel. Notice on the top right, instead of Bowman in red, it's Opeachy. Sean Blanchard, Eric Brewer, Ryan Bonney, and Peter Schaefer. It's a possibility I might have missed another Opeachy parallels inside of it, just in my disappointment of getting redemption. Martin Servin, Curvin, Eric Drouin, Danny Breer, Richard Rochefort, Alexander Volchkov, Daniel Kachuk, Daniel Tetro, Stefan Cherneski. So we're getting a lot of duplications at the base here. John Syriac, Olivier Morin, Steve Bejan, Chris Height, Alan McCauley, this guy again, Adam Colagiacomo, Matt Ellich, and Jesse Wallin. So that's kind of disappointing. I guess all of the hits per se are redemptions. So, Greg Lieb, Eric Belanger, Andy Delmore, Cameron Mann, Adam Mayer, Alexander Matteo, Mike McBain, and I thought Upper Deck was god awful for uh, for redemptions, and yet here we go again. Redemption card for Bowman's best hockey card. Like, come on, guys. Like, wow, overdoing it or what? <laughs> like, you can't get any hits in this product anymore. Again, I know it's the risk of buying older product. There's always the smart person who's gonna make that comment. Well, do you know you could just buy SP Authentic from this year? SP Authentic from this year is all right. I plan on definitely opening some boxes, but these older stuff have a personality. Downside is uh, three redemptions in half a box so far. So, yeah, I will open what I choose, and I know there's the risk. It's still ridiculous that there's three redemptions in a single box. Trent Whitfield, Mark Andre Godot, or Godet, Dominic Perna, Colin Pepperall, Sean Venedem, Gregor Baumgartner, Brad Ferenc, and Brad Larson. That one is probably the weakest pack in terms of people who actually made it to the NHL. Let's see if there's more redemptions. <laughs> Let's go for a, for a half dozen here. Might as well. Let's have some fun with that. Patrick Marleau, Stefan Robidas, Jason Doig, Larry Pelechny, Corey Cooper, Jean-Francois Domfus. We actually have his uh, first NHL win jersey in our goalie museum. Matt Zoltek. Corey Sarich. All right, come on, let's go for more redemptions now. We're heavily, we're in too deep with it now. Might as well continue that horrible, horrible trend. Jean-Sebastien Giguere, he went on to have one heck of a career. Sami Nasreddin, if you remember, there's an Alain Nasreddin in the NHL. Uh, highly likely they're related. It's not a common hockey last name. Um, the hell's his name? Ryan Muganel. We have an Opeachy parallel of Brendan Morrow. Had a very long career with Dallas, ended off his career with uh, Tampa Bay. Mark Morrow, Jean-Francois Fortin, Chris Crickshank, he did not make the NHL, and BJ Young. Not even gonna make a comment on his name. Zenith Komarniski, Mark Denis. He was supposed to be the next big thing in goaltending. He was back up to Patrick Waugh for a while, started for the Jackets, went to Tampa, 
and then ended his career with a game in Montreal. Marc Olivier Waugh, Trevor Letowski, Paul Amara, Kyle Koss, Nikos Celios. Fun fact about him, his last name is actually Chelios. Yes, he is related to Chris Chelios, but he wanted to dissociate from the family name, so he changed up the spelling of his last name. He ended up playing, I believe, for Carolina Hurricanes there. And Justin Kurtz. Let's see how many more redemptions we can get here today. Sean McNeil, David Thibault, Gordy Dwyer, Paul Trainer, John Tripp, Jeff Zare, Benoit Cote, and Byron Ritchie. Yeah. Some guys in there who made the NHL, some did not. Hey, we got our wish, we got more redemptions. <laughs> Brendan Morrow, my word. Eric Normandin, Jamie Sokolski, Daniel Kachuk, Jay Lego, Derek Schutz, yeah, Schutz, <laughs> Aaron Asham, and then redemption card for Bowman's best hockey card. I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> Joel Kwiatkowski, Denis Hamel, Frederick Henry, he did not make the NHL, Dwayne Hay, Nick Boynton, Vratislav Czech, Paul Mara, and Sergei Varlamov. Played with um, oh, St. Louis. And last pass. See if we can have another redemption to wrap up the box. Cheese. Hugh Hamilton. Vinny Le Cavalier, Roberto Luongo, Rico Fata, Kevin Bolabrook, Nick Poynton, Kevin Grimes, Old Grimy, again, good Simpsons reference, and Dmitry Nabokov. Well, Herbe Bobblehead didn't have much work today because we didn't have any hits, literally at all. We had a few regular inserts. Again, I'll double check on the base again. I might have missed some, but we had Opeachy Parallel of Brendan Morrow. Alan McCauley, Gregor Baumgartner, and then we got utterly destroyed in the box here. We got two redemptions for Bowman's best hockey cards. We got a redemption card for a refractor card. And we got a redemption, most depressingly, for a CHL autograph card. We'll just assume that the redemption is for the worst player in the set, so that way the burn is a little bit less. The product itself was nice, the base cards were interesting, I like these throwback stuff, the price wasn't too bad, however, Herbe's verdict, and I'll explain after. No, um, I cannot give this box a pass just for the fact that there's four redemptions, three of which are just for your common insert cards. Makes no sense to me. Again, I'm thinking too much new school, I guess, but um, in regular inserts should be in the packs. So autograph, okay, maybe they don't get it back in time, but four redemptions, are you kidding me? There is no way this box gets a pass. Until next time, have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.